Hey guys, I'm back. And today, I'm gonna do a demo of the P3 and explain why the Phantom 3 is better than the Phantom 4. The number one reason is, in program mode, if you wanna follow a boat, a car, an airplane, the P4 only goes 21 miles an hour. Yes, there's sport mode, but then somebody actually has to fly it, and I don't want to have to fly it, I just want it to follow me. Where the P3 will go 35 miles an hour. So today, I'm gonna to do some taxi in and have the Phantom, Phantom 3 follow me, and then I'm gonna, I might try to take off and do a touch and go and see how the Phantom 3 keeps tracks in the camera in the shot. Um, so we may do some flying and see if it can track it or not. So, so I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna record the uh, Hero 1 right there. I am mounting the Hero 4 right here to get some GoPro action from the cockpit. The controller's gonna be right here with the USB cable running to right here. And the iPhone, I'll be able to see what the Phantom 4 is looking at. I'm also gonna run the, the, the DJI camera to get some shots while I'm flying. So hopefully with the three cameras, we'll be able to get something. And this camera here, I'm going to put out here and you can like kind of watch me as I drive around. So that's what I'm going to do. And to say again, I'm not flying from the airplane. The controller is just sitting there. I'm flying the airplane and the drone is going to follow me. And uh, if you're at a, a airport, you really can't do this, but this is a private strip, so I can do it here. It's really not a landing strip, it's just my backyard. But so let's see how the test goes. Guys, can you hear me? So now what we're gonna do, we get seat belted in here. I'm just gonna taxi first. And I wanna set the drone on follow mode. So we go to, I love this new DJI version three app. It's really nice. Follow mode, apply, out to two 10 meters, cannot be enabled follow mode. Okay, let me go a little higher. Let me see, apply. Okay, we're on follow mode. Let's uh let's just taxi around a little bit and see what it looks like. See what it does. And we are recording. Yeah, we're recording. I'm just gonna go up and down the runway, taxi in. See how well it keeps the plane in uh the camera view. So far, it's doing a fantastic job at 20 meters. It's doing a real good job. I'll go up here and turn around. Okay. I'm going to taxi back this way. So far, it's keeping me in sight at 20 meters. It's pretty cool. Now this plane lifts off at 39. I will probably fly it at 50. Well, of course, the Phantom 3 only goes 35, so there's no way it can keep up. So I'm hoping to have the angle of the camera so it can still pan. I want to set it to that, and I'm going to try to fly a circle around it. But yeah, it's tracking me real good. The new the new 3.0 software that DJI just released works great. I love the new icons and new graphics. We're going 14 miles an hour right now. At least the Phantom 4 or 3 is. So I'm going to turn around here. And I want to change the... Uh, I want to stop recording. Now I want to keep recording. Okay.
I stopped follow. I stopped recording. I want to hit follow mode and apply. Okay. All right. We have uh, 17 minutes of battery left. I got to run this up and do some checks on the plane. So 1500 RPMs I do. Left mag drops both. Right mag drops both. Carpeat, carpeat drops both. Okay. Got 17 minutes of battery left. Left, right, up, down. I think we're good to go. I don't think I need to... Let's taxi back and see what it looks like. Yeah, that's getting some really good shots. Some really good tracking shots. So, if you think the Mavic and the P3 or P4 are going to obsolete your P3s, you're wrong. The reason is it just doesn't have the speed. This thing goes like 15 mile an hour faster in follow mode. Well, if you're doing a fast boat or a car or an airplane, you're going to need that extra 15 miles an hour. I was in Mexico and they, the guy was asking me, a friend of mine was asking me, he said, can you do sport mode and still do program mode? I said, no. He said, well, my boat goes too fast. It can't keep up. I said, yeah, that's the problem. But I wish they could still do program mode, but not just have the the void and colli collision avoidance turned off and they disable that. I think that would fix it. Okay, let's see if we can find the Phantom. Okay, I'm gonna do a uh, a fly around the patch, and we'll see how it keeps up. I'm gonna stop this recording. Start the recording. I've got 13 minutes. I'm going to do one touch and go. Okay, it's recording. Here we go. Maybe a little windy. I got both doors down. So we are at 39. We're flying. I'm going to try to keep it around 50. Just to see if they can keep up with me. I'm going 55 right now.
I brought you ran it up. Let's go fly. Sorry about the cut now. I got both doors down. It's really windy. Okay, I'm flying at 55. I'm going to fly pretty tight circle. We're flying 55. I'm going to turn around here. If I can see the drone anywhere. a slow flyby. I have no idea how it's tracking me. I'm at 60 miles an hour. My thing about Cub, it flies really, really slow. Really slow. Fifty five. This drone is following the iPhone and the controller. I am not flying the drone at all. I am just just flying around. The drone's following me. Or at least it's trying to follow me. I don't know how well it's done. I have to go back and watch the footage later. Cruise along here, 60 miles an hour. I'm going to turn here. This time I'm going to land. I just made two two flybys at about 60 miles an hour. I'm going to land this time. The, uh, going 65, back at the runway, on base. Turn car heat on. Let's land this thing.
Feel the throttle. Down, down. Start flaring. Start pulling. Start pulling. Start pulling. Uh, a little bounce. A little bounce. Well, guys, I don't know if the test came out or not, but we're going to go edit something together and uh, see how it worked out. Thanks for uh, watching, and uh, if you like, hit the subscribe button and share it with your friends, and uh, maybe I'll do more videos. All right, guys. Thanks a lot.